Meghan Markle has managed to get through three nannies in just six weeks after two called it quits. The shocking high turnover of staff in such a short period of time raises further questions about staff leaving the couple's employment. However, royal sources have revealed that Prince Harry and Meghan may just want to get it right, according to The Sun. They explain that choosing a nanny is a deeply personal decision which depends on both Archie and the couple's needs. Sources close to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex said on Friday that choosing nannies for Archie was a personal matter and that Buckingham Palace does not comment on the hiring of staff. The source said, often there are different needs at different stages of the baby's life. The first nanny was a night nurse. But Harry and Meghan do not want to rush this or take any risks getting this decision right. It's deeply personal and can depend on the needs of the baby and parents. Earlier this month, a new British-born female nanny had been hired but is not permanently based at Frogmore Cottage or working weekends, according to Harper's Bazaar. The nanny is also expected to provide additional support on the couple's tour of Southern Africa where they are planning to take Archie. It comes as last November Meghan's Pennsylvania Melissa Duapti resigned after just six months. Just weeks later, the couple's private secretary Samantha Cohen resigned after working for the royal family for 17 years. In January, Meghan's female bodyguard also quit after six months. In more recent weeks, private secretaries Amy Pickerel and Heather Wong have also left. Maria Theresa Turian Barallo became William and Kate's nanny in 2014 when Prince George turned eight months. Maria now also cares for Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. However, in Prince George's early months he was cared for by William and Harry's former nanny Jessie Webb.